Hi YouTube, it's that time of the week where I go over my favorite YouTube comments. It's honestly one of my favorite parts of the week where I get to just look at what my community has to say and you know, reflect on my favorites, answer some questions, enjoy some compliments, attack some haters, you know, we, we do all of it. We try to do all of it anyway. Um, if you guys want to be in these videos, leave a comment, you might get in. Some people release some banger comments sometimes and you'd love to see it. It's really, really cool. We did have one video uh, short last week. I didn't make a video on Good Friday. So I did, did take two comments from elsewhere. But, uh, you know, it's going to be good. It's going to be good. If you guys like this content, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. And we'll start with Mark in tier. Marson? I don't know. You have no clue how much I respect you for not playing the tier 1 meta BS every single tournament. Okay, well. <laughs> now, to be fair to this guy. To be fair. Um... For those of you that do not know, I'm pretty sure a lot of people know that. For, but for those that do not know, um, half my weekends I'm stuck doing ridiculous amounts of paperwork. It's not fun. Math work, paperwork. It, it makes for a very, very intense weekend sometimes. Unfortunately, this week in the past, the Ultimate Cup that passed you know, two weeks ago and two weeks from now, the next regional I'm playing in, it's, it's just one of those weekends where I have so much work to do. I would love to play Bielsamon. I would love to play Bielsamon. I love that deck so much. The problem is I'm trying to bang out my rounds quickly so that I can just go do my paperwork and then play a game, can go do my paperwork. You know what I mean? It's, it's not because I'm like trying to be, no, screw tier one meta. I'm just, it's easier for me. Um, but you have to be smart about it, right? I, I picked Grandis Ultimate Cup because I saw the potential there. I put Andrew Graham on for regionals because I thought it was a good meta call, all the options and security and all that line around. You know, and I'm sure that in two weeks I'm coming up with something else crazy. That's going to be quick and painless for me. Not, not for my opponents, but for me. So, you know, I, I have played my fair share of tier one decks. Those of you that might remember in 2021, you know, I played Lord Knight and won two tournaments in a row on stream. You know, I won a regional yellow hybrid and I've taught events with meta decks. So it just, it just depends. It just depends, I guess, what's going on and how I'm feeling and... Blah, 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 blah. Michael here. Mario basically saying he doesn't have time to play Digimon while topping your region. <laughs> it's funny every time I read it. Because, like, uh, Bandai lately has just been putting these events on my payroll weekends. I don't like it. Now, to be fair, the Ultimate Cups do not fall on those weekends. The ones in June that I signed up for. So I will be able to stream those. And I will be playing something fun. But, uh, you know, that's okay. Cardfight King. One of my favorite dudes in the community. He tells me to remember that EX2 builds a mon effect when it's milled and the mill 2 on Digivolve when attacking effect is optional. Card is word like conduct is you do not have to call an Impmon when milled and you do not have to mill 2 to lead something. Well, thank you. I appreciate the ruling updates, sir. He Clay is one of our purple godsends in the community, so you'll love to see it. Thomas O. Honestly, I'd recommend Gengaku promote over the hybrid pick. Giving Impmon Rush comes up more than the hybrid. Because you suspend your tamers and it's still evil for one on fours. These are the comments I live for. The not telling me, you know, I do things this way. Or you're bad for doing it this way, Mario. With no rationale whatsoever. This guy gives me a suggestion and tells me why. And that's great. That's honestly amazing. And on, I'll try it. But for this guy, I will try it. And see how it goes. Savin, high key might just sell my four Bielzamons and buy single cord cards from upcoming decks. You know, Bielzamon is not the only meta deck in BT12. You can play Bloom Quartz, Red Hybrid, War Grain. There's lots there. So, uh, you know, maybe that's the way you want to do it. Who knows? Buzzer Bob, always good to see Deeper getting those Ws. I feel like we'll get we'll see lots more of it in this format. I would be very happy with that. You know. Um, we're going to talk about this later. There's another comment that I think better reflects this. But yeah, D Reaper is good. It is. The other annoying thing about the cross matchup is setting up a Psychmon just to, for them to Akari and Doru the Floodgate. That's, that's, the, that's the name of the game. Yes, Crossheart has inherent removal to Floodgates like Psychmon. The best decks will be able to stick either multiple Psychmons in the field or they'll be able to just constantly recur the Psychmons. That's just kind of how it is. Alien Soup says, Bielistar equals Sekkon with style. Kind of. It, there's not as much healing, right? I mean, the Lusamon heals you one. That's very nice. 
Uh, but that's it. So, you know, you have to work with what you got in security and you have to win before your security runs out. That's kind of how it is. A vault. Jeffrey, my Canadian friend. Thanks for the shout out and the compliment. I try my best to make my videos entertaining to watch and I look forward to seeing your special congregations. You know, once I can work from home, I also look forward to my special upcoming creations. Until then, though, I think everything is going fine. This, this guy is goaded, though, for sure. Digimon for Life from Digivoid Gaming. Gotta include a nice little wholesome one here. Maybe uh, maybe the thumbnail, maybe the uh, the title. Maybe. David Hancock. The event pack Eosmon has been $20 plus for months. It's nuts. Yeah, the Eosmon Copium is one of the funniest things, I think, in the game. People are really excited about Eosmon. You know, for no reason. So, I don't know. Um, Christopher says, one possible, one possibility, I guess, that both Arata and Nibermon 1-Up is due to winning the P Pandai product poll. Yeah, that was kind of the guess I had, because I didn't see any, like, support for Nibermon announced. So, I'm assuming it win, won the product poll, which it did, and, uh, that's why I went up the price. But, uh, you know, Nibermon support's coming out eventually, guys. It really, really is. Can we see some successful gameplay with this? I'm not finding much success with it. Um, Peter, that's a very good question. Uh, I'm going to use this as an opportunity to shout out my Patreon, where my patrons knew that Ancient Greymon was coming before anyone else did. Uh, and there is some gameplay of Ancient Greymon on there, if you'd like to peruse. Um, there's also a deep dive video that I made uh, after I topped the regionals on how to actually play Ancient Greymon. A lot of people think it is this Herp Derp Deco Burr. That's not always the case. Oh, wow, I got to follow. Thanks, Johnny. <laughs> anyway. Um, so, yeah, that's that's my plug. Um, I would be streaming. I, I honestly want to stream more events like this. The problem is I cannot do my work and stream at the same time. I, I just, I cannot do it. Mario, this deck is near identical to the Ancient Grey deck you posted three months ago. Just replaced the Crimson Blaze and Lightning Jaws for the plugins. Just saying. Okay. Yes. Don't gotta fix what's broke is my comment to that. Now, this is the part I want to talk about earlier, the Deeper comment. I do believe that there are people in card games that can make certain decks work out of nowhere. I have multiple examples. I'll give you two. Lychee is one. Mr. James. Mr. James, the Lychee man, topped Ultimate Cup with Alphamon, the same time I talked with Grandis. And, uh, you know, no one thought of Alphamon. No one did. And he still plays it. And he still makes it work. That's one example. No one else can do it, though. I think there's, like, one other person that can do it, but, like, that's it. The other the other one here is uh, Luca, the D-Reaper kid. Luca, the D-Reaper kid, you know, won a regional back in the day with D-Reaper after certain people thought D-Reaper was... F-tier garbage, so to speak. Uh, he was the first to win in that format with D-Reaper, followed by um, Danny. Danny. I think it was Danny. If I'm wrong, correct me. Anyway, and then he proceeds. You know, he does well D-Reaper here and there. Look at my tournaments elsewhere. You know, and shout out to Luca, by the way. If I don't mention it, he's going to, like, flame me for it. But he did help with Ancient Greymon. He did give me the, the blue plug in tech months ago. And I've kind of just held it in the back burner. So shout out to him. Uh, wouldn't it be amazing, though, just to troll Luca? If I played D-Reaper at the uh, regionals the next April 1, Beach 11, and I did well with it, and I did the deck profile, and I said, wow, look at my D-Reaper deck. All mine. And just copy his deck for me. And I think, I think that would be the funniest trolling thing literally ever. <laughs> anyway, yeah. So the point of this, the, whole, the point of the story is... Yeah, Ancient Greymon works if you know what you're doing, you know, and it's not hard to know what you're doing with the deck, you know, a little bit of luck, uh, mulligans, and knowing what cards to play at the right times if you don't have your line is just all part of the process. That's kind of how it is. That'll do it for this week's comment and review. Leave it in the comments if you liked it, and leave a comment if you want to be in the next one. Bye!